Yo! What's up everybody, Fornitron here, and today we are back again with our Returnal Easy Mode Beginner's Guide. In the previous episode, we went through all of Biome 2, and we got the Blade Harmonizer, and we also have leveled up our character a little bit and gotten more health, and we are now ready to take on the second boss. Let's get into it. Okay, so this boss is... I, for me personally is the most difficult out of all of the bosses in this game and I don't want to freak you out with that but it's very nimble like it does like warp from place to place but again you just want to do the same strat you're going to run in the semicircle aim up and then use your alt fires whenever you can after the first each phase at the start of each phase the boss will go to the center of the arena and it'll just like it'll hold its hand in the air and it'll shoot out like these waves of energy fields with a bunch of um energy projectiles while it's doing that that's the perfect time to just like let loose your alt fire and then just aim at its head um, and get a lot of big damage in there. And then you're gonna jump and then dash towards the boss to dodge all of the attacks. Uh, it also has an attack where it'll do like big flights at you. So it'll like, it'll fly up in the air and it'll go off screen and then it'll come charging at you. So while it's doing that, you wanna run in a semicircle so you're ready to dodge uh, when it flies at you, whenever it does that. It also has an attack where it'll just like transport at a certain section in the arena. So you'll see that the arena is circular. So it can either go in between these pillars. So it can either go in the middle here, 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 um, or here. Um, or sometimes it'll go like way up in this arena here. And when it's doing that, it's gonna shoot like a big flurry of blue projectiles at you. And those are the ones that you just dodge at the last second. Um, I know that's a lot, but remember, just always keep running. We've got a health. We've saved scum. We have an astronaut figurine. I think we'll be okay. Let's get into it. Do it. All right, alt fire right away. What is Remember semicircle. Alt fire. Like, don't panic if you get hit by a projectile, because they don't, they just chip damage. Okay, that's phase one. Remember, don't even bother firing on it until it goes to the second health bar. Remember, a good opportunity to get some damage. So these are the swipe attacks. Remember, just run in a semicircle. And there it comes. Alt fire. Alt fire. This is where it's gonna appear in the arena somewhere. There we go. and then dodge those at the last second. So the first thing that's gonna do is charge up a vertical energy beam. So just strafe and then you'll get out of the way of that. And then the energy projectiles will come at you and you just dash at the last second. When 
when it shoots these blue orbies at you, I do like a jump pattern here. So I jump and then dash as well because your dash has a cooldown. So this way it makes it harder for the enemy to hit you. Okay, nice. Remember, let it go in the middle of the arena. This stage is a little bit more fucky, so he'll do charges at you and then he'll do slam attacks and usually in groups of three. So he's gonna come slam, slam towards us. I knew it was gonna happen, but I still fell for it. Two, three, alt fire. That was a bit risky. So this is where the boss starts teleporting. So just be ready to jump and dash towards the boss. That way you miss its red energy rings. Use their health. These I have trouble dodging. He does this too, where like, um, he'll just like disappear and then reappear. Man, I'm getting rocked. There we go. Done deal. Dispatched. Something exalted. So if you beat this boss, you can beat the game because that's the hardest boss in the entire game. All right, let's pick up this item. Limiting hostiles has a 10% chance to repair integrity. Nice. And then here, the best item in the game. Found more xenotype technology on another corpse. Scan is again indicating potential for suit augmentation. Test. Now we have the grappling hook, and it's probably the best grappling hook in all of gaming. All right, let's drop off that cube that we got earlier. What do we even get? Silver lattice, become immune to slowdown effects. Okay, I'll take it. All right, let's grapple over here. And then grapple back and then dash at just the last second. So we get whatever's in here. Usually it's health in here, but got ether. I'll take it. Okay. Okay, before we go to that next area, I want to go back here because there was a health back here that I want. Oh, sick. Like a full heal. I love it. All right, let's go. Now we can grapple.
All right, let's dash through. And we are in the third biome, so congratulations. Okay. The teleportation gateway in the desert has taken me to the citadel. Beyond the forest's massive wall. And there's always a Sylphium vial, and there's always a Calibrator. I think this one takes us up to 10. Oh, 9. Can show that the broadcast originates from the tower inside a citadel-like complex. Encountered hostile machines. So the machines in this area are pretty immune to our weapon. Which is kind of a bummer. Always run back this way. The journey is almost over. Then here, jump off the edge. Because up here is always selfium. In the past. So much desolation. It's so much city. desolation. It's only inhabited by corpses. That's a warp to like an optional area. I never go in those because in this biome, when you go through those, you have a chance to fight like a huge fucking robot and it's just a huge pain in the dick. So don't do it. Okay, so let's use our grappling hook. Grappling hook. I love the fucking distances you can go with a grappling hook. Okay, usually if we go left. After I just said, like, don't go in these. <laughs> Oh, okay. Okay. All right. I'll take it. Pistol. Ooh, another carbine. This one has tracker swarm, armor piercing, and rising pitch. Um, yeah, let's take that one. What does this one got? Ooh, an 11. It's got kill shot, though. Um, I like tracker swarm more than I like kill shot. Actually... Kill Sight does, like, kill things in one hit, so I think we'll take that. Okay. I feel like when we jump over there, uh, some drones are going to come out. So just have your alt fire ready. Okay, I think they're gonna show up here. Yep. Love that we completely missed them. Nice. What they drop? Ooh, interference sphere is way better than that other thing. I would almost like, let's take this, use it. And then pick these both back up. Now we're ready to rock. Right, let's pick up this. I'm nearly at broadcast tower, but I haven't seen any evidence of any living member of the hive mind. If they sent out White Shadow, when? The mothership first picked up the transmission months back. That's All right, try not to get seen by the spotlights. Okay, let's pick up Sylphium. There's usually... Yeah, there's always that chest at the bottom, but there's also usually a glyph on this side. <laughs> Love it. Okay, so this is going to be the weapon that we're going to use for this stage, and this is the rocket launcher. So we're actually going to pick this one up. So this one's a little bit trickier to use. Let's... So you only get three shots of it. So it's one, two, two three. 
And then you gotta get good at reloading it. But because the enemies here are like robots, like they're way more susceptible to rockets than they are the carbine. Okay. Sometimes this happens where enemies get stuck in the wall. Okay, another malignant resin. Um, no, resin's not worth it because that just uh, our health is pretty high already. Okay, so that door usually brings you to where you can buy some stuff. So it brings you to where you can purchase consumables, but we only have 133 obelets, so I don't know if that's even worth it. So, but uh, let's do it anyway. Nice. At least we can buy another Sylphium vial. Even if, even though it's a small one, it's still better than nothing. At least we got two of those now. Remember, we still have our extra life. We're doing good. Hey, usually there's an enemy that spawns here. Yeah. You want to watch out for that shit. So when it shoots those red arrows, they cause instant malfunctions. So always hide behind a pillar. Dropped oblates last two seconds longer. No, get out of here with that. <laughs> get out of here with that shit. Also, don't forget to use your arena to your advantage. So like now that we have the grappling hook, you can grapple from like super long distances, like get a few shots off and then grapple over. Very awesome strat. Okay, don't get seen. There's always something over here. Yeah, nice. This one's got shield breaker and replicating hits. Let's use it. There's going to be an invisible thing that we can't see here that'll make a bridge go across. We'll get that later in the game. Ooh, I don't think this room's worth it. We're going to go in here, and yeah, there's all these uh, chests, but there's a bunch of bullshit in that room. 100% don't recommend. Okay, let's just keep going forward. Um, This might spawn a big enemy, but I think it's just going to be a bunch of those drones. Yeah, it's one of those. Let's use the arena to our advantage. When you get too close to those things, they blow up. Oh shit. Kill shot, so good.
completely missed. Murdered. Love it. That shit gets intense. Okay. Today the wind is gasping. This is where the cycle waits. 63 years and 8 days for me to die. Our cursed fate. While Atlas bore and for me... Mm, you pick that up and a bunch of enemies swarm in here. What's this room? I can see where the horizon becomes the edges... Um, no. Not worth it. <laughs> You gotta be very picky later on with like what rooms you go in because like you can just completely demolish a run. Okay, I feel like this room is a timed room. Ah, <sighs> um, let saves come right here. All right, now that we saves come, I'm feeling a lot better. So let's just. So in these rooms, you can't dash. These robots are harmless. Like you don't have to kill them, but you can. So you can't dash, but you can jump. Ooh, uh. Reconstructor. Took that. I mean, trying to dash. Okay, so that's to. That was malignant resin. All right, let's go. This is a big robot, dude. You do not want to fuck around with him. He can grab you. He'll like, he'll grab you the grappling hook and you can dash out of it though. That's the grappling hook right there. Use the arena to your advantage. See, it's a six strat. Oh. Love it. I don't know what that move should be called, but it's a sick move. So like, just get them on the opposite end, unload on them, and then when you see them jump at you, get ready to fucking grapple hook to the other side of the arena. Big, big, big brain moves, baby. All right, let's see what kind of weapon they dropped. This one has vertical barrage. Yeah, I'd say this one's worth picking up. I do like shield breaker. But I do want it to get more easy to use as we get to the, the boss of the arena. All right, let's pick up all the shit. Okay, feeling good. There is always a button right there. And we can jump, dash, pick up the calibrator first, then see what weapon we get. A carbine, which would be sweet, but not in this area. And let's see what's in this optional door here. Oh, okay, this is one of those rooms I was telling you about. So this one, fabrication costs reduced by 15%, 20% chance to not use a consumable on use.
I think it's worth it to attach all these. And then detach them. Get the oblets from them. And then put that one on instead. Very nice. It says there's another thing up here. Oh, malignant. What was this one? One fewer cure a uh, fill one fewer kill required to increase adrenaline levels. Uh nah, not worth it. All right, I think that's a good place to end it. We've gotten through a big chunk of the third biome and we've taken out our first big robot dude. I don't know what they're called. I'll put up the name of the enemy here. Um, but again, we're just making our way through this game. We're playing smart and that's what's gonna lead us to victory. So I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>